Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel where we talk about real crimes and real people. We have cases that will make you cry, cases that will make you angry and also cases that will make you want to punch somebody in the face. My question is what does this case makes you want to do? Please do subscribe and do all those shenanigans YouTube asks you to do to support content creators. So for today, I bring you the story of Cesare Serviati, an Italian serial killer who lured his victims through ads looking for a companion and murder without their knowledge, of course. So let's get started. I apologize for the noise in the background, it's very windy today. But who was Cesare Serviati? Cesare Serviati was born on November 24, 1880 in Subiaco, Italy. He was an only child, his parents were peasants and they died while Cesare was young. Cesare went to live with another family in the countryside. During his childhood and growing up, Cesare killed animals and wanted to become an executioner when he grew up. Cesare was uneducated and he had violent tendencies. Cesare worked as a nurse in Rome. He then was let go because he mistreated the patients at the clinic. After this, he found a job as a butcher. Cesare married a woman named Angela Tabori and they had a son named Giuseppe. Cesare was the only provider for the family, which is not uncommon for that time. But Cesare wasn't satisfied, he needed more. He needed to let his inner monster go free and claim his victims. He would lure them with the promise of marriage, but little did they know, death was his main goal, while still married and without his family knowledge. In July 1928, Cesare started corresponding with another woman, Pasqua Bartolina Tiraboschi. Pasqua was 42 years old, she was from Chiavari. She used to be an opera singer. She was a widow and her late husband left her an inheritance. He wooed her with words and promises until he convinced her to move to La Spezia. When she arrived, the two became entangled and after a while, it was time for Cesare to cut his ties with Pasqua. But he did it in deadly pieces. Cesare strangled Pasqua during sex, then he stole her valuables. After killing her and stealing from her, Cesare dismembered Pasqua's body and then he dumped it into the cesspit from the building. Nobody noticed Pasqua had gone missing and Cesare had found a way to make money and engage in his secretive affairs. To lure another victim, Cesare posted an ad in a lonely heart section of a newspaper called El Messagero. He was a retired war veteran, he earned 450 lire a month, he was searching for a wealthy madam who worked as a maid with the promise of marriage. A woman responded, Beatrice Margarucci. Beatrice had just returned from the United States. And like his first victim, Cesare convinced Beatrice to move to Rome and live with him. In early November 1930, Cesare strangled Beatrice during sex and then he dismembered her body. He put the pieces into a suitcase and then dumped it into the Tibur River. The suitcase was finally found a few days later between Santa Marinella and Ostia. The con was moving along and the killing wasn't over. In 1932, Cesare posted another ad in the newspaper. This time he was a retired marshal and this time he too got a response a woman named Paulina Gorietti. Paulina, 40 years old, she was a former maid of a rich family in Rome. Paulina then worked as a waitress in Naples, where she was from. Cesare made her promises, marriage, family, a small shop in La Spezia. Paulina was convinced, so she told her colleague, Olga Melgradi, she was going to leave the city and that she had made plans to marry a man. Early November 1932, after she arrived, she no longer got in touch with Olga. On November 16, 1932, two suitcases were left at the Napoli Centrale railway station. The suitcase were taken to the lost property. When they opened one of the suitcases, they found the torso of a woman wrapped in newspaper and covered in sand dust. The next day, they opened the other suitcase and they found the rest of the remainings of the body. Authorities weren't able to identify the body or the killer. 
Authorities made public in local newspaper the news of the unidentified body in the hopes for some leads. Then authorities were contacted by Olga Melgradi and Paulina's brothers. They all claimed the unidentified body was indeed Paulina Gorietti. Olga then showed authorities a letter Paulina had received from a man she was going to marry, and that man had actually signed the letter with his real name, Cesari Serviati. Then on November 9th, 1932, authorities went to Cesari's apartment he shared with his wife and son. Cesari was arrested and also his wife and son were questioned because initially they believed they were covering up for his crimes, but there were no evidence to support that theory. Initially, Cesari stated he had only brought Paulina to the city, but he hadn't killed her. But eventually, after a few days of interrogation, Cesari Serviati admitted to killing and dismembering Paulina's body. He also admitting to throwing the rest of the remains of Paulina's body he couldn't stuff in the suitcases into the canals. Cesari also took the opportunity to confess killing other women, but he never gave any details or names. Because of the similarities between cases, Cesari was also linked to the death of Pasqua Tiraboshi and Beatrice Margarucci. On June 14, 1933, the trial of Cesari Serviati began. Cesari was found guilty of three murders and also of robbery. He stole 2,000 lire in cash from Paulina. Then on July 8th, he was sentenced to death for the murder of Paulina Gorietti. He was sentenced to life in prison for the murders of Pasqua and Beatrice. On October 13th, 1933, Cesare Serviati was executed by firing squad. Would you go meet a total stranger who promised to marry you?